Hola amigo! Thanks for joining my hike. I'm Kevin and this trail is kind of exciting. I haven't been here before. It looks pretty challenging. I saw the sign back there. It said it was dedicated to or donated by Warren Beatty. Maybe we'll run into him on the trail today. I wonder when hiking trail started. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, it must have been after like the covered wagon period. I'm not good with dates. I can't remember dates. I'm just good with pictures. You know, covered wagon, you know, when the Mayflower came over. Because why would people want to walk any more than they had to? Because they didn't have cars back then. I mean, and no Fitbits either. So why bother? We're having a great hike today. Take your protein pills, put your helmet on. Let's have at it. Hiking shotgun today. Oh, she has had a legendary career. I mean, for nearly two decades, she's been tearing up the ski slopes. She's been breaking world records and breaking a lot of bones too. She's one badass. She's the most decorated female skier ever. She won 82 World Cups and a lot of Olympian medals. I don't know how many or what color, but believe me, a lot. You got it. Today we're hiking with the queen of snow, Lindsey Vaughn. So you're not a big hiker, huh? <laughs> no. I like going downhill, Kevin. Where was your favorite ski movie? Downhill Racer. Is that what got you into skiing? Let's go the not steep hill. Let's go this one. <laughs> okay. Let's go the less steep one. Right? I would, but I don't I don't think Lucy can handle yeah, it. Yeah, I think it's Lucy. <sighs> you just yeah, let me know if I'm going too, racer. Yeah, you go, too fast don't, for don't you. Go, like super fast. Okay. <laughs> like I said, I'm more of a downhill kind of gal. I read that this trail was kind of donated by Warren Beatty. Oh really? Yeah. Who's, that? Who's that Warren Beatty? I should know. Probably. See, this is the thing about getting older. You assume everybody knows everybody, but no matter how famous you are in the world, people come along, eventually a generation, they won't know who you are. Yeah, I Warren mean, Beatty. I also live under a rock, also known as mountains. Yeah, that's true, but things have changed for you now. Yes, things have changed, I'm in Hollywood, so that's why I rely on friends like you to tell me what's what. I'm gonna teach you okay. teach about me your way is pop a wise culture one. and about history of Hollywood. Good. Warren Beatty was in Bonnie and Clyde, Heaven can wait, shampoo. He was a very handsome man. Okay, okay. He still is, I think. Yeah, I should know that. That's okay, you don't need to know that. Definitely should know that. It just means that you read more than you go to movies. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you suck! I'm gonna throw you in the pool when we get home. That's what I'm gonna do. Yeah, you're disgusting. Let's go. Come on. When you wake up in the morning, yes. are you in any kind of pain? Uh, from all your injuries? Yes. You um, are? If I've worked out the day before, usually when I wake up in the morning, I'm really, really stiff. And I had a workout with Gunner in the afternoon. Anybody and named Gunner's got to be a good trainer. <laughs> yeah. Jeez, Gunner. So I woke up this morning and I felt like I was 900 years old. <laughs> you Pain every, my knees hurt, but... Wow. I'm kind of lost here. Which way? This way? Which way? Like, yeah. Good. Hey, we made it to the swing. We made it to the swing. Look at that. Check off the bucket list. Huh? That has been on the top of your bucket list for a long time. Seriously, like, what are you looking forward to most when you retire? I know, right? Get on a tire swing. What else is on your bucket list? Um, skydiving. No. Yes. Are you serious? Uh, You're such a risk taker, aren't you? 100%. Yeah. That's why I knew going on this hike was going to be a risk for you, but it's hard to take it. Yeah. So not a lot of pain in the morning, but you can work through it? I can work through it. I mean... Because the last crash you had was crazy. Um, yeah. I mean, you disappeared behind the orange <laughs> fence and you did not get up. There was nothing. It was quiet. It was, uh, well, I tried not to scream because, you know, people tend to get a... A little bit out of shape when I scream. But there's no time for you to scream when you're crashing, right? No, not really. Have you ever skied in a race where you were hung over? <laughs> <laughs> no, I never partied. I was kind of a... So disciplined. I know. I, I, I think, you know, later in my career, I would have like a glass of wine to celebrate, but that's pretty much the extent of it. But you were so good, you would stop at one of the gates and have a glass of wine and then continue you with know, the race. continue on, yeah, just say hi to everybody and keep going. This is quite a here. challenge, this trail. Whew. We may have take, taken the road. The road we shouldn't have traveled. Yeah. 
We're getting an Uber back. Yes. Yeah, where's the Uber? <sighs> How thrilling is that though, to be at the gate in the Olympics as Lindsey Vaughn <laughs> and then that gate opens. Ding, is there a ding when it opens? Yeah, it's like, it's like a countdown. It's beep, 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 beep. And then those massive quads, they push the gate it's open and then they yeah. just hurtle down the, 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 the course I'm in the other down, gates. I'm hurtling down the mountain. Yeah. You, you have no girly man quads, that's for no sure. Girly man. Here's a multiple choice. Okay, multi I love multiple choice. For a I, I nailed multiple choice in. Uh... No, I'm sorry, this is true or false. Cool. Okay, true or false. No, it's multiple choice, that's <laughs> right. Okay, here's a multiple choice for you. You ready? <laughs> yep, ready. Um, between you uh -huh. and Evil Knievel, Ooh. who has broken more bones? While skiing. While skiing? For sure me. Yes, you beat Evil Knievel. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't know how often Evil was uh, was cruising down the slopes, but <laughs> I feel like, how many bones, do you know how many bones he's broken? I, I would assume every bone. <laughs> <laughs> she's, uh, she's really cute, but she's not smart. Get, drink it. Hey, oh. Was he getting a shower today or just a drink? Hey, come on. This is be my last question about your crashing. Okay. <laughs> when you are crashing, of course, yep. you don't really have time to think. You're just reacting to the fall. Yeah, you try to be like loose. Try to be like Gumby. Just let that, it happen. That last crash that you had, did you, was that the spot you thought if anything was going to happen, it was going to be there? No. Nope. <laughs> no, so you were totally. No, I was like, I was totally unexpecting that. I, kind of misread the terrain and went off the jump. Like it kind of caught my edge funny. Yeah. And you should get rid of your edges because that always seems to be the problem. <laughs> oh, you're disgusting. I'm sorry. Again, are you talking to me or to the dog? <laughs> this is the worst. Come on, you can do it. I know, I'm doing it. <laughs> is this even a trail? Who would win if you got into a leg wrestling match between you and PK. Leg wrestling? Have yeah. you seen his thighs? No, but I've seen yours. Leg? No, his are twice the size. Really? Has oh, he yeah, ever that's skied? That's like the one thing like, you know, since I'm an athlete and I have big muscles. Yeah. You know, you can't be with a skinny dude. <laughs> that just, that's not. That's the rule? That's, that's kind of a general rule of thumb. Yeah. Um, but yeah, PK would 100% win because he is very strong and... What's the... And, and pounds, what's the lightest guy you would date? Uh, you can't be lighter than me, so... Okay. <laughs> you know, I'm not going to tell you how much that is, but... <laughs> Do you speak any other languages? I speak German. Do you really? Yeah, that's why Anna likes me so much. So everyone in ski racing speaks German because... Uh, pretty much, most of the races are in Central Europe. Can I hear yeah. a little, just a little? We go now to and this is really very steil. This is not einfach. But trotzdem gehen wir hoch and hopefully we wir auch Spaß. I said we're going hiking. The hill is very steep, but we're having fun. And you have a nail in the jerk. <laughs> He's not as funny as I thought. <laughs> She just rolled in the stream. Are you sure that's not a pot belly pig? Oh my god. Okay, I think we're on the right trail now. Yeah, so this is another way down. Yeah, we might take that way down. Yeah. Try to keep up, try to keep up. <laughs> <laughs> Did you have knee replacements? Not yet. So I've had two ACLs, MCL, meniscus, a lot of meniscus, LCL. I'm hearing a lot of letters. There's Doesn't a mean lot anything. Of L's and... Yeah. When you were um, racing, yeah. Were you ever so disappointed that maybe you felt like you were behind that you started crying as you were continuing with the race? <laughs> is that a real question? I'm telling you, I'm trying to ask you questions nobody's asked you before. Yeah, no one has definitely ever asked me that one. Um, <laughs> no. Okay. I can't say that I have. So wait, we went the wrong way again. Well, we just went a different way. Look at this. What am I going to do with her? Should we try this trail right here? Do you think we can get up this? 
You know what? I, I don't really particularly like getting super dirty. Okay, there's Lindsay like Vaughn, a, let's go. There's like a, you know, there's kind of a limit to my... You used to be the badass of skiing, the queen of snow, but now you're just like, I don't want to get dirty. It's up to you. Boy, that's... It's quite let's steep. go up to that tree and, and see what happens. Check it out. And then we'll slide down on our butts. Okay. Uh, this is the most challenging... I thought you Google Maps did. I did, but it doesn't show you... <laughs> Heights. Like I'm following. This is like totally your thing. <laughs> I can't. Okay. All right, it's let's, not let's, worth it. Let's, yeah. It's not worth it. How many scars do you have? Did you How ever count them? Scars? Yeah. Oh God. Uh, let me see. I'll start with the smallest. My thumb. Yeah. Um, thumb, arm, knee, 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 knee. How many knees knee, do you have? Knee. I'd say it's nine to t nine, ten separate scars. But some of them, they like went in the same hole. Yeah. So like they kept, they, they, they cut me in the same place they did the time before. Right, right. You know, so if it's like, it's going to be, it's kind of nice because it's like, why make another scar when you don't have to? You already got one. Right, you should just put a Velcro opening on that thing. <laughs> who inspired you growing up? Uh, people who street. People who what? Pe street? <laughs> What'd you say? Peekaboo Street. Oh. <laughs> I thought you said people who streak. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, streakers are really uh, my main motivation. <laughs> this trail does not look like the pictures I saw on uh, YouTube. All right, we're heading back. Okay. What'd you say your hobbies were? What do you like to do? Ski and. Do you like, okay, so you hike like to ski? With Kevin. You like to, um, we like to go to hockey games, right? I love hockey games. Yep, you like hockey um, games? I love hanging out with my boyfriend. All right, Here. pretend you're going down a slope right now. <laughs> Is that the face? <laughs> no, okay, I do what my dad does when I go down the mountain. Yeah. <laughs> you bite the thing? Yeah, he like bites his tongue. It's like, mm. <laughs> In all the pictures you see of my dad growing up, they're all like, mm. Do you see pictures of yourself like in Sports Illustrated or something where you have like the weirdest face and you go, why did they use that picture? Um, or yeah, I'm sticking my stomach out and it's like, <laughs> you know, whatever it is. There's, all, there's always, I feel like most of the time people use the pictures that you don't find, you know, that are the best yeah. image of yourself. Would you ever let somebody win on the downhill? Like if you let felt bad them for win? them? Yeah. No. I mean, you have, right? No. The ones you lost, you let them win, right? I mean, no. <laughs> I just, I, just I think, up. I beg to differ. I think <laughs> you let them win. Have you noticed that I'm competitive? Um, Slightly? There's part of you that seems competitive, and then there's another part of you that's kind of like surrendered. Is that yeah. true? I'm not a therapist. Wow. You should go see a therapist. That was deep. <sighs> I mean, that was like... Yeah, but you I, have to I kind of actually agree with you 100 percent. you have to surrender a little bit once you kind of give up a sport right you have to know that something else is down the road for you yeah exactly you know one thing i've always wanted to do is be on snl yeah yeah like that's my big you know yeah. they've had other athletes on like michael phelps and they've had johnny mosley and like i feel like there's one i mean yeah. i don't know I mean, Maybe I'm not that funny. People, uh, we'll Maybe see. That's why we'll see you at the second half of this hike. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was the first concert you ever went to? Uh, I think it was Boys to Men or All for One. I think it's no All for One. Yep. Oh God. Um, They're they, so different. Uh, How can you be confused? What's the stupidest thing you've ever done besides this hike? <laughs> <laughs> I've done a lot of stupid things. Any regrets? Um. You know what? Not really, because even though, even if I do something stupid, I learn from it. Yeah. You know, and I think that my mistakes have taught me, you know, just to help me grow as a person. You know, a lot of people say, do you regret, you know, crashing or, you know, right. you know, having this or that injury? And I'm like, actually, no, because I'm a lot stronger because of it. Yeah. Not, you know, physically, I'm definitely not stronger, but mentally, you know, physically, I'm about half what I was six years ago. Do you um, ever, I feel like I'm 95 now. 95? But I feel like you might be more spry than I am. I don't think so. <laughs> I'm in pain right now. <laughs> I have an ice pack with me all the time. Smart. But that's just for my drinks. Do you use face cream at night when you sleep? Skin um, softener? Yeah, I mean, I'm like not a spring chicken anymore. So. Oh, come on. 
No, I'm 34. I gotta That's like, still a you spring know, it's chicken. like anti-wrinkle, whatever, whatever. Um, yeah. I mean, my biggest thing is that, like, it's not so much the moisturizing stuff. It's like sunscreen, and also that I wear makeup all day, every day. You do. Yeah, like you, when I. Um, looks good. I can't even tell. I, you should have your own well, like supply of makeup and sunblock. Wow, that was a great tee up. Do you really? Yes. Tell me about it. So I can't tell you the name because that would be like. Can I come up with a name? Yeah, actually, I'd love to hear your names. Von Teal. Von Teal. Von Teal. So it's a whole line of makeup? Yeah, so it's going to be a whole line of makeup. You can ski in it. You can work out in it. It's Good for all... outdoors stuff. Yeah, or you can go on a random weird hike up a weird, weird trail with Kevin. And I have perfume too, so. Oh, um... man. I hope it's a good perfume. Sometimes when I'm walking by somebody or they're walking by me, I smell their perfume. And I'm like, I want to marry them. Okay, Lindsay and I have decided to have a contest to see whose knees pop and crack the most. We'll start with me. <laughs> No. Your uh, okay. performance anxiety, is that? I might have put too much cream on them this morning. <laughs> I loosened them up. Okay, now, Lindsay, oh, you, you ready to take this I'm challenge? I'm ready, I'm ready. Okay, give and me. What do you think is going to happen? I think I'm going to win, because that's okay, what ready. I do. Here ready? we go. <laughs> you got it. That's a gold medal for Lindsay Vaughn for cracking knees. I win! Will you please be careful? I'm trying. It makes me really nervous. How do you think the people feel that are watching this? <laughs> this is an Olympic skier right here. Lindsay Vaughn. SNL. Yeah. How was the hike? The hike was good. It was not great. No. What? <laughs> Thanks for clearing out that trail. We need a lot more work though. Yeah, yeah. definitely. Thanks, Lindsay. Man, this was a tight trail, man. This is the most challenging trail I think I've been on in a long time. I mean, I mean she didn't even break a sweat, but I, of course. And what about the knees popping and snapping? Man, some orthopedist is gonna have a field day with us. I wonder who's going under the knife first. I think I know. Thanks for joining my hike. Please subscribe, hit that little bell. We'll catch you next time. Happy trails.